All right, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to TGTV. So it feels good scrolling back over that my league picture, man. Here we go. We're gonna be doing a league expansion. I'm in the zone, but I break fast. Feel like John Wall put a ball on break pads. A tall order go buried in the Maybach back as they take shots and I send them all way back. You don't want it with the kid like Jason. We've been had rings while the rest keep chasing. I'm going off for doll entertainment. LeBron game seven when I step into the stadium. I'm in the zone, I can't break that. Right, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to TGTV. So, before we get into this video, guys, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please hit it. We're trying to hit 60k this summer, and every subscription helps. Tell all your friends to subscribe, and anyway, drop a like on this video, and let's get into it. So, a big discussion question I want to talk about for this video is, should 2k become more RPG, or is it starting to become too much? And also, if it is too much, can we change it in a way where there's as many RPG elements, but maybe better ones? So, the big thing that I've seen in the past 2Ks uh, recently is that it's starting to become more time spent off court than on court. And personally, I know some people really like that. I know some people really don't like that. Uh, we have so much time in the practice gym. We have time going out with uh, different uh, connections, excuse me, different celebrities, different NBA players. And I'm just going to give you guys my take. And the biggest part of this video is I want to get people's feedback in the comments and hopefully try to link this to LD2K or Ryan2K and let them know, you know, this is how people feel about it. And if we can't get changes made for 18, maybe for 2K, uh, I almost said 2K17. For 2K19, we can see even bigger changes. So personally for me, I think the time spent in the practice gym, um, as an RPG element, you know, you're spending time away from the court. I know that's what they're trying to add. I think it's a little bit, um, I'm not exactly sure what the word is for it, but it's just kind of busy work, I guess. You know, like when you have a substitute teacher and they just give you a bunch of stuff just to make you do stuff, just to keep you actually working. It kind of feels like that's what 2K is doing. I mean, yeah, sure. It keeps you engaged in the game a little bit, but all you're doing is going to the practice gym and you're doing the vertical jump three times and getting your attribute upgrade. But I would love to see them have you do things like you have different opportunities to go and um, earn attribute upgrades. Like, let's say you get invited by Allen Iverson. Let's say the Allen Iverson connection now actually matters. You get invited by AI, like, hey, I have this big game going on here at, uh, whatever, this park. And you're like, okay, so you have to go and you have to take on maybe three NBA legends and you play in a game. And if you beat them, you get something that goes towards an attribute upgrade. And it's opportunities like that. It's not just going to a practice gym every once in a while and having that somehow contribute to me being a better. Like, how is me doing a vertical jump three times a day getting my jump shot better? Like, in all realism, I think the biggest thing is that there needs to be more choices. I think the storylines have been cool. This year's storyline with Justice Young, I think very well may be their worst. It wasn't really even a storyline. It was just these absurd, random, arbitrary cutscenes that contributed nothing to the actual story arc of your character, and it also didn't really contribute anything to his performance. Um, I actually think they probably did it best in 2K14. To be honest with you, I'm blanking on 2K15, because 16 was the Spike Lee, I believe. I'll have to look this up after, but I really believe 14 was the best. You had a lot of choices that would lead to different things, and I know a lot of people won't like this, but I think that there should be choices that impact your career. Um, not for good or bad, but where you're playing for the next season. And for those guys who are real my career heads that don't play park, don't play pro -M, adding an RPG aspect can be huge. I like the barbershop this year with, um, when you went with Justice Young, because the barbershop was a place where you could go outside of your court, outside of the practice gym, but I wish you could walk around in it. I wish you could choose to do things around the barbershop. Um, I like, I think a lot of people have talked about this, the old Madden superstar modes. In the old Madden superstar modes, you'd be able to walk around your room, choose where you want to go. Ironically, one of the places you could go was the barbershop. I'm trying to think of some of the other places you could go. I'll bring up a screenshot of it right now, though. And I just thought that was so cool because yes, you spend a lot of time off the field, but your time off the field was always fun. 
that's my take on the RPG stuff, guys. Let me know what you think down below. I think it'd be really cool. They always have this theme with cities. And if we could have our choice to go around the city and do stuff, um, I just think that would be awesome. Own a house, own a car, make that part of your storyline. The press is asking you, like, you just dropped two million dollars on a new car obviously not two million dollars you dropped six hundred thousand on a new car and your salary is only a few million like was that really the best choice and then you can choose to be like kind of kind of short with the press or you can choose to be like very honest like yeah i think this is a great choice for me i've always been a big car guy i don't know stuff like that but it adds to your personality it adds to fan perception they took that away in press conferences the press conferences now have zero effect on how people see you and i don't like that I would like the way people see you to be a big impact on the game. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.